Hey guys, this is Dave. We'll fix it, and we have a BMW E46 convertible 330. This is a 2003 model, um, and today we're looking at um, a panel or a flap that's missing from the convertible roof. So let's have a look. As you can see right here, this panel is missing. Now it's been missing since I bought the car. If you look at the other side, it's actually in on eBay. They're going for a hundred quid, about seventy quid, a hundred quid. This is in pounds sterling so we're in the uk yeah so in dollars it's probably gonna be a hundred plus dollars i guess in the us um but then i started looking at maybe the flap has fallen into the car so it might have fallen in there somewhere into this into the um into the where the roof sits when uh, when it's down so i thought let me have a quick look so let's have a quick look to see what's this okay so what i've got is i've opened up the roof halfway and i've stopped it and you can see it's just open so then i was able to see if i can have a quick look in here to see if the flap so this is loose i don't know why and then i realized that the flap is actually here it's tucked in and this took i didn't realize this for a couple about a month or two so it's actually here and then you can see that it's just been tucked in there but it's not coming out when it should come out so if you look at the opposite side you can see it's sitting there already um but here um it's just been tucked in there and i thought it was lost to be honest um so that's probably going to save me a bit but the thing is it's not hooked in now what it is is you see this little hook it's supposed to be hooked in underneath this um, and then when the roof goes down or in when the roof is down this gets pulled out by the spring and then when the roof goes back up this is this pushes it forward and then the main struts for the roof actually come through that gap so let's have a quick look at the opposite side so this is the side that works now you can see right that this spring you can see this is all connected right it's hooked in here nicely and this is actually spring is hooked in underneath this but for some reason the opposite side is not working and it's not connected right so we need to figure out why so let's go back so what I did try to do was to reattach this and there's a little hole underneath there which just hooks into but it just keeps coming off so I think the the hole where this attaches to is actually damaged so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take this off and have a closer look so try and see if I can unclip it right so I've got it off um, and if you look here right can you see when I hook this in this is actually split so this is such a narrow little spring that it hooks in can you see that there there you go you see that that's how it's supposed to be hooked in but because it's split come a bit closer have a look at that because it's split you can see it's split it just the spring just pops out from the side so it's basically damaged so what we're going to try and do is repair this split now i don't know how i'm going to do that yet i'm going to have to think it through um, because i'm not going to this is the right color i've already got it i'm not going to pay 100 pounds for one in black then have to spray it in the color that i need so this is the one i'm going to keep so i'm going to try and fix this um, and let's see how I do that all right guys so I showed you this earlier with the crack in it so what I've done is it's not elegant but it should do the trick so what I've actually done is I super glued the center piece the bit that was cracked and then what I did is I attached two metal washers these are just standard metal washers and I've super glued them in on both sides and I had to bend one to get it to fit but it looks pretty sturdy so it should do the trick so what's gonna happen is this now this little hook is now going to go in into here and if I just get that in there you can see now it's gone in and then now I can actually put some force on it right so let's get this into position okay so the way to get this back on is to actually go in and you see these little pins here they're going to go on that side they're going to go in there's, there's two rails there's two lines of rails so they go in the top one so i'm going to just do that so the top line's now in 
Okay. Right, so the top line's in and I'm just going to get the, the next one in. So now you can see this is into place. Right, now what we're going to do is attach the spring. So the flat end bit goes on here, on here, this little hook. But what we're going to do is we're going to attach this end first and hopefully I'm kind of doing this blind now. Maybe I should have put it on first, but let's just try this first. And that's it on so now you can see it's actually on and if I move this it moves with it so the washer fix seems to be okay and remember the opposite side is just over there you can see that too so the next test is actually to open and close the car and see what happens so let's give that a shot okay moment of truth Let's see how it goes now. Look, it's going down, it's going down. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Let's keep watching. And the roof's kind of locked into place now. Okay, can we drop it please? Yep, one more time, let's drop it. So let's go back now and see if the new piece slots back into position after the fix so let's have a look now done and it looks like it's in position pretty much yep so look, this is the spring attached to it now. So let's so quickly check the other side, is it the same? So this is the opposite side. Yeah, it's actually a little firmer. It's actually much firmer than my side. So maybe I can tweak the spring. So one more time, let's see if this pushes it back. There it goes. It's just a bit of plastic, but it's got a little mechanism that needs to really work. Yeah. You do it in reverse, yeah. Okay, back one more time. Beautiful in position there and it's in position here brilliant it needs a bit of a clean you can see um, it's not really washed I, I've already washed this that's why it's looking the same color so just just needs I just got a bit of soap and a bit of soap and water and wash that down and it'll be fine um, and I'll probably do the other side as well but that's it job done so just a little quick fix to get this back up uh, instead of paying a hundred pound for a brand new one and having to spray it to the right color um sometimes you just gotta dive a little deep to get get to the actual problem and then try and fix that um, and that's what we've done remember it's 18 years old car um, but it's good to go hopefully that should last another 10 years on that uh, but thanks for watching please sub the channel and like the video and i'll catch up with you guys in the next one